Hi, this is Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. I'm here today with this devotion. It is uh, Psalm 101, verse 2. It says, I will ponder the way that is blameless. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with integrity of heart within my house. Now, I really like that, the last part of that verse. I will walk with integrity in, in my heart, in my house. Now, uh, first off, though, it starts, you know, I will ponder the ways that are right. I will, I will be thinking about, <clears throat> about the things of the Lord. I'll be thinking about his commands on my life, about, you know, God's plan that I live a fully flour flourishing, just what is supposed to be human life. And that's what he's leading us to. We meet that through Christ with, with his indwelling in our hearts, with his instruction in our conscience and his movement and his power to show us how to love. But also, I will walk with integrity of heart in my house. Now, often we can take a Bible verse and say, well, it's talking about this, you know, David doing so-and-so or Moses doing so, but it applies spiritually to our lives this day. And, but this is just a straight out command. I will walk with integrity of heart in my house, or this is what David is saying he is going to do. And it's only one step to say, well, that's what I should do too. It wouldn't, it, it is not gonna work for me to say, well, it's all very well for David to walk with integrity in his house. He's David, he's in, he's in the Bible, he's a saint. No, no, I should walk with integrity in my house. The people who know me best should see my witness. The people who know me best should know my love. The people who know me best should know that I have a forgiving and merciful heart and a, and a heart for their best. The people that know me best should know that I esteem them better than myself. So that's what walking with integrity of heart in your house looks like. So let's practice that today. God bless.